What is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Laughing Coyote. This is the first test between Sri Lanka and England. Second innings, if you haven't seen the first innings, do check out that video first, then come back to this one. But yeah, we're about to get into the second innings. England have got a bit of lead. They had a very good performance with the ball. They scored only 199 with a bat, but still have 77 run lead. So they were exceptional with the ball. And we've kicked off the second innings. Well, about a miss field. Lovely shot from Zachary. Got a couple of runs. Uh oh, that might be a run out. That might be a run out. That is not a run out, in fact. <laughs> yep. Such a classy shot from Zachary. Ooh, that's given the fielder a chase, but he's done it well. I don't think he's saved any runs though. No, he hasn't. Oh, that's a four. You can give up the chase there, that's for sure. You ain't stopping that one. Oh my, what a ripper. How do you even play a delivery like that? Look at that. Oh, what? How, what? <laughs> That is just ridiculous. Unbelievable. Dominique Sibley, gone for 39 of 67. The right hander is coming into bat at number three. Yep. Good shot into extra cover. Zachary will move on to 50 with that. Yes, he will. There it is. 50 for Zachary Crawley. Of 88 deliveries, a very patient innings, but a very well deserved one. Oh no, he's gone. That's the end of Johnny Bear Tings. Yeah! Bear Tings getting, well, the exact opposite of Bear Tings. He's getting very few Tings. By Tings, I mean runs. Outside edge gone, he didn't really do all that well in the first innings either. He's not done well here either. Not a great game for Johnny Bairstow. It's sippy sippy sip time, eh? Look at that, tastes good, doesn't it? Tastes really good. You know why it tastes good? Because it's that Corona water. Okay, that's another wicket down. England is playing actually quite well, to be honest, but they've just lost another wicket, and um, things might be turning around because it's jo uh, Joe Root who's had an actually pretty good first innings. Well, uh, a pretty good one, that's for sure, if I was Asa myself. 100 and what? Something like ridiculous like that. He might even go on to get 200, I don't know. The second inning hasn't started, yes, and the first hasn't ended either, so I don't know how much Joe Roos going to end up scoring. It's a very good shot from Daniel Luz. That'll be four. Ah, brilliant. Into extra cover, Daniel goes. He's, uh, he's had a pretty good, he's played pretty good to hand in the first innings. And he's going to get a boundary here. There he goes again, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Back at it with another back foot punch. 73 in the first innings. For Daniel. Oh, there he goes again, Daniel. That'll be for 20 up for Danny Boy now. Oh, that's a shot and a half. That'll be four. Brilliantly done. Zach Crawley will move on to 63. Oh, what a hit. That is too good. He's gone at less than 50 strike rate, but he has bumped that up. And it's time to bump it up. Hey. 
Wow. All right. Well, uh, that is just brilliant because he's just smashed another one. EJ Zachrawley. Okay. Well, he's on a mad thing. He wants to get to 100 and get there quickly. He's doing well so far, but he shouldn't get out of himself. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 not like that. What a take. Who is that? Show me their face, because that is just ridiculousness right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's gone past him. He had to dive backwards to catch that, because it's gone past him. You bloody beast, whoever that is. It's Lahiru Erimane. Brilliant. Vishwa Fernando with the ball. That's the end of that innings. Josh Butler comes in next. A oh, lovely shot from Daniel Luz. That'll be for 33. He will get after that shot. Dan is doing quite all right, isn't he? A very good shot into mid wicket. They haven't got a mid wicket, nor do they have a deep mid wicket. And I think that will be a four. It is, in fact, a four. So 41 up for him now, just nine runs away. Yes, yes. Brilliant. 47, just three more runs and half ton for Daniel. That's a good shot. That's definitely going to get him at least two, and at least two is what he needs to get his 50. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to ruin his 50 because he's gone. No way. So he has got his 50, but he's also out. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there was no need for that third run there, you know. You can't even celebrate now. Brilliant. All right. That's cricket for you. I love it. Oh, that is so unfair. <laughs> Got a f oh, camera, man. What are you doing? You dumb. Sh ah, whatever. Yeah, he's gone for 50. Look at that. Cannot even raise the bat because uh, he's made a very dumb, dumb mistake. Sammy Curran, next man in. Oh, no. He's gone. Oh, yes, he is. Got a, quite a hefty lead, to be honest. I mean, Sri Lanka has gone for 122 in the first innings. If that is any indication of how the second innings is going to go, they've got plenty of runs already. But uh, then again, England didn't even get to 199, and now they're over 200, and they've only lost six wickets so far. So I think the second innings is going to be a lot different than the first one. It's a high-scoring innings. Uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, what a throw! Yeah, whoever that is is gone. It's either Bessa or Butler. I'm not entirely sure who, but... It doesn't really matter who. And they're gone. That's the bottom line. Yep, that is the end of that. Stuart Broad can bat a bit. Oh, there he goes. Jossie Butt Butt. I think he's been given the signal to go after the bowlers a bit because they're trying to wrap it up. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a beautiful back foot punch into the gap from uh, Stuart Broad. Like I said, he can definitely bat a bit. And uh, he's batting quite aggressively so far. That'll be 15 runs of 17. That is pretty aggressive, especially for a tail end. Oh no, that's that edge. That's the end of Jossie Butt Butt as well. And I think now they're just going to try and well play until they lose all 10 wickets. Because they've got two days left. So this is only day three. So they've got a couple of days still to go. And yes, England have got a huge lead, but you don't want to give them two days to chase it down because they can easily do that. I should rephrase it, not easily. But they can do it in two days. But if it's one and a half day, then it's not so easy to do, you know? Well, it's not easy to do 
Either way, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Yes. Square drive. Very good one from Mark Wood. How much wood would a woodchuck check if a woodchuck was Mark Wood? Yep. There you have it. Oh, that's a lovely shot into extra cover. 42 for Stuart Broad. He's big, he's bad, he's better than his dad, that's for sure. And he's very close to getting his half ton. Eight runs away now. Oh, lovely. Marky Mark and uh, Broady doing really well at the moment. That'll be 364 runs for England now. Broady going to get his chance to complete his 50. Oh, he might not. That was a slower delivery. Taking a pace away from it. Look at that. Taking a pace off of the ball. Oh, nipped away a little bit. Got a slight outside edge as well. And stumps it is. It's a very good delivery. Even a proper specialist batsman would have uh, made a mess of that one, let alone someone like Mark Wood, who's a tail ender. The legend Jake Leach comes out to bit now. Oh no! Two runs short of his half ton. Seward Broad trying to smash it away to the boundary for four and trying to get a half ton himself, but he's gone. He is out, and that's the end of the England innings. 291 is what they've scored. And uh, England is a very good batting side, but I think Sri Lanka will have uh, a bit of fun, you know, doing this uh, in this innings as well. They didn't have any fun in the first one because they were all out for 122. But here we go. I mean, England's got a really good bowling attack as well, so you never know which way it's going to go. Lahiru Tarimani is <laughs> going to come out to bat. Look, it's a funny name. I'm going to laugh every single time because I've got a... A mind of a 12 year old, all right? But here we go, Lahiru. Just gonna say his first name instead. He's just going to offer a leave, that's it. That's it, easy does it. Starting things off with a Dotaruni. Yes. Good shot, very good shot. First round of the day. It took some time, didn't it? Yep. There he goes on the offside. They'll need a good partnership, opening partnership up there to chase this down because they're chasing a huge total here. 369. <laughs> Cheeky 69. Anyways, it's a pretty big total. Yeah, yeah. It's very important that they build partnerships, particularly the opening partnership. So far, so good, though. I think that might even go to the boundary four, and if it doesn't, they, I think I'm pretty certain they will pick up four runs, so all that effort of the field is gone to the waste bin. Yep, that's four runs right there. Yeah. Thick outside edge between the slippies, and it slipped away to the boundary for four runs. It's a very good shot straight yeah. to the field, and they've decided to take the run for some damn reason. And, well, he did not run in a straight line. If he'd run in a straight line, he would have made it home. But since he was going crisscross, zigzag, ting, he's gone. Out. Yeah, no. They try to teach you in school the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But I guess some people just don't pay attention or they bunk the class. I'm assuming this guy did that. And that's why he does not know that. That's why he was going zigzaggy instead of straight. Asal Mendes, next man in. No, that's a shot and a half. Field has given it a chase, but the ball have won the race. How long has it been since I've said that? Brilliant shot, lovely jabbly from Lahiru Thirimani. 25. He's on to now. Oh, he's gone. Yep, that's another one of those dismissals where the batsman tries to block and the block backs backfires. Dominic Bassett is picking up a wicket there. Eh? Josh Butler behind the six, taking an easy catch. That's two wickets down for uh, Sri Lanka now. Sri Lanka in a bit of a trouble here. Eh? They will 
Man, they need partnerships, and they they build a pretty good one with the opening one, 40 run partnership, but they need a bit more than that. Is, yep, that's out, I think. He's given it, yep. Looked out to me, looked out to the umpire, and... Well, the batsman doesn't want to go. Oh, he's reviewed it, all right. Uh, whoa, what happened? Did he hit it with a bat? He's definitely not hit it with a bat. Maybe he turned a bit too much. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's some part of um, I don't know. We'll oh, no, that's not out. Oh, my goodness. That's turned so much. How? Wow. Okay, that's not out. And not even, like, by a little bit. That's beating it by a lot. Holy Schweinsteiger. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. And that's the one. Mark Wood is a very quick bowler. Right in the block hole. Not in the bum hole, but the block hole. <laughs> oh, no. Angelo Matthews gone for 14 of 30. I like him quite a lot. He's a pretty good uh, all-rounder. But um, it's not done so well here. Thick outside edge, that'll be four. Oh, he's taking it. That's another wicket down. Oh, no. Sri Lanka is in a bit of trouble here. I mean, they can still win it, but it's going to be very difficult. I mean, it was difficult from the very get-go, really. Scoring 369 when you couldn't even score 150 in the first innings. But again, the conditions have changed a bit. It's become much more of a batting track now than it was before. So I was hoping they would put up a fight, but they are losing wickets left and right at the moment. And uh, it's going to take something special now to win this one. It's a good shot from Niroshan Dequila. So you've got Terimane and then you've got Dequila. Brilliant name so far. Oh, that's a brilliant shot out of the gap. That'll be four. That'll be four. You just know sometimes, you know, the way it's play it. It's just going to go to the boundary for four. Yeah, like that. That's four. Any day. And every day. Kusal Mendes gets a half ton, and now he has to uh, convert that into a ton, because uh, there's a long way to go still. Oh, full toss is not going to cut it. That's a beautiful shot from Kusal Mendes. That'll bring up a 60. Pretty easy. 50 partnership up. That is good to see. Beautiful shot. That'll be four. 65 of 102 deliveries. A lovely shot into the gap. Oh, they are doing the chant. He's bad. He's better than his head. Seward Broad. Love that. Love that. Love that. The Bami Army has made their way all the way to Sri Lanka. What a shot. Lovely. Oh, now why have they decided to go for the second one? Makes no sense to me. I guess they don't want to be out there any longer. They just want to end it, man. Stupid running. You cannot afford stuff like that when you're chasing 369 and you've lost four wickets already. I mean, it's just stupid. It's foolish. No need for that. Absolutely no need for that. Shanaka, next batsman in. Oh, no! <laughs> what a catch! Kosal Mendes was actually looking pretty good and Jack Leach. Well, he's got a pretty ordinary delivery. It's just a spectacular cricket uh, catch. Extraordinary fielding. That's converted that ordinary delivery into a wicket. Look at that full stretch. Holy moly. It's Zach Crawley. He's having a great time out there. Mendes going for 77. One Hindu Hasaranga. Next batsman in. Oh, lovely. Oh no, what are they? <laughs> yeah! All right, um, 
What are they doing? I don't, what? I like, it's like they don't want to win, you know? One Hindu has a run, a gun for a duck. The left handed batsman is coming in at number nine. For... Yes. Good shot. Four runs he'll collect, Shanaka. Yep. Oh, that's a very aggressive shot from Shanaka. He's like, you know what? I ain't giving up. It's not over yet. It's not over until I say it's over. Oh, whoa, no, it's gone. It's worked out well in their favor in the end, Sri Lanka's, that is. 50 partnership up. This is good. Oh, man, imagine they pull this one off. That is a very good shot. Just about clears the short mid wicket. And it's slowing down quite a bit. I don't think it's going to go all the way. They're going to push it back. They actually... Mm, they're going for the third. What are they... What are you... Please, what are you doing? Come on, man. Uh, whenever there's a little bit of a partnership building, a little bit of a fight back, you guys ruin it with this dumb running. It's pissing me off, man. Finally, they were rebuilding a bit towards the end, and well, it's Dustin who's gone, the only batsman left. Wish for Fernando is that spotsman in. There's two more wickets and they need a little over a hundred runs. 110, 118 actually. It's gonna be four for uh, Vish for Fernando. They've still got two wickets in hand, and uh, these two can bat. We saw them bat pretty well in the first innings. Well, not that well, but you know. Good shot over cover, and that'll be four runs. Last set. He's playing very well with uh, Shanaka. He needs to continue that. He needs to support the others. Oh, no. Last set's gone as well. Just one wicket remains now, and they have gotten so close to it. You know, even if they lose, they've fought well here. They have fought really well. Take out those three stupid runouts, and Sri Lanka's in. Sri Lanka's very much winning this. But since those three runouts actually did happen, well, Sri Lanka might not be winning this. But I'll tell you this if they pull it off, oh my. Imagine that, the scenes, if they pull it off, I thought that was that, I thought that would be the end. But a little less than a hundred runs required now, and just one wicket to go. That's a good shot, that's a very good shot through mid-wicket, they haven't got a mid-wicket, and I have a feeling that'll go all the way to the boundary for four. And yes it will. Oh wow, look at that, you might not have to imagine them winning, because they might actually win it. Brilliant. Lovely backfoot punch from Lahiru Kumara. These two are uh, fighting on, they're not giving up. It's a very good partnership. The good thing about this is not one person is taking charge, but both are. Oh, there he goes. The more runs they score, the closer they get to the target, the more confidence they gain. And the easier it's becoming for them. Oh no, oh, look at that, that's gone for four. Very well done. Well, actually, I don't think he had anything to do with that, but it's gone for four. You know, it's weird, because there was no pressure on the batsman at the beginning. Then as they started doing well, at the moment, all the pressure's on the bowler. And then as they get closer to the target, I would say to 340 when they get the pressures back on the batsman. Oh my goodness, with each shot the pressure is mounting on the bowlers. And a little bit of pressure is releasing off the batsman's shoulder. Oh my goodness, oh what is happening here, that'll be 42 up for Vishfa Fernando, Lahiru Kumar on 49 already. Oh no, that's, oh no, that's, that's gone, that's 50 for Lahiru Kumara. Just when they needed him. 
That is tremendous. Now the pressure is on both the batsmen and the bowlers because now it's winnable and also losable, very much so. Yeah, yeah. 10 runs, 11 actually to win, 10 to tie. Well, that'll be four, so make it. Seven runs to win, one wicket remaining. Oh no, what is happening here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lovely shot, end of the gap. Oh, that'll be four. No? Oh no, actually, no, it's slowing down quite a bit. They're gonna push for three, yes, they've pushed for three. That's 366, just three more runs to win. Oh, he's pulled it off. He's pulled it off, are you kidding me? That's gone for four. Oh my goodness, they have won the game. Near 100 partnership at number 11. They've won by one wicket. Take a bow. What a performance. What a display for Sri Lanka. Did not expect them to do... That is tremendous. You've got to give them a round of applause. What a brilliant performance. A brilliant comeback after a very shaky first innings. The Lankan Tigers have done it. I imagine that's what happens in real life because the game's looking very one-sided at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it, man. How can you not enjoy a game like that? That is tremendous. Thank you for watching. Do drop a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe. Do check out Luck Coyote Plays and a third channel as well. I'm not entirely sure what the name is going to end up being, but the links to both will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice... And yeah, by the way, I am going to do India versus Australia. It takes a very long time to do these test matches, all right? So just calm down. It'll be up soon. <laughs>